So welcome along guys to another off-road video. I promised I was going to borrow a 350 gas gas, didn't I, for a bit of off-road action. I followed through. I think I will be following through later. I'm meeting up with the boys. We're going to hit the lanes, local to me, just the green lanes. I've not ridden off-road in, uh, well, two and a half years, something like that. Uh, a little bit nervous. I'm just going to really take it easy today, not go too mad, so join me. A nervous Chopsy hitting some off-road, that sounds like fun. I'll see you after the intro. Chopsy, roll it. So the Gas Gas is obviously a Spanish brand, purchased by the KTM Group couple of years ago so basically this is a mixture between uh, the KTM EXD off-road bikes and the Huskies but it's a little bit cheaper and that's the thing this bike is I think this version is about seven and a half seven and a half thousand so a lot of money still but it's 800 pound cheaper than the equivalent KTM I'm gonna build my speed today I don't want to hurt myself so it's all about building confidence this for me today what better way to spend your day though, eh? Cheers, thank you. Polite and courteous as always. Be careful at looking to the left, we've got barbed wire. Oh, so I'm going to bottle it because we've got these gullies. If I've stood up and I turn in the gully and, and catch it, it's going to go down. I prefer to be sat down at this sort of slower, slower speed lane like this. It's like turn, don't turn into it, Chops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out, shit. Oh, she's sweet. Kill it. That's the most pathetic crash I've ever seen. A pathetic crash sucked into the. sucked into the gully. The rut. This is when you're pleased you've got bike which only weighs 106 kilos. I don't like the ruts, I don't like the ruts. Yeah, so tight. Oh my god, almost again. But Jesus. Oh dear, I feel like an absolute noob. I had that all wrong, I had that all wrong. <laughs> oh I know, exactly. It's all alert. Every day's a school day. All right, let's cover that front brake, cover that clutch, cover that. I don't know why it's so rubbish. I mean, I've done about, I've done two A.D. Smith days, off-road A.D. Smith days in my time. I've done two days, or well, one day, Enduro off-road at Toro Adventure, Toro Trail in Alusia in Spain. I must have been on these lanes 10 times on other bikes but it's not like riding a bike doing this off-road stuff once you don't do it for a while and it's I say nearly three years since I've done this it, it takes a little while for that to come back to you you know you're just as a road rider I mean I'm a road rider you're just not used to having the front wheel moving around like it does when you get off-road and what is great about this it makes you such a you know, it really improves your on-road riding because you get used to what to do when things start getting loose on the road or on track or wherever you know you know not to panic and just to apply power or whatever you, you, you get used to that feeling and you don't just automatically panic and pull the front brake and uh, that's just why I really do like this enduro stuff just to improve my skills as a road rider as well as anything else Someone's down already. Uh, it's, well, I'll say I'm not the first. I was the first. It's really slippery. That's like chalk. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty slippery. Oh, jeez, it's a big old drop. Oh, look, you get stuck, you get the front wheel stuck, and then, you, then you've got to basically hoist it over. <sighs> Come on, Barry. Jeez, look at this. Keep some momentum if I can. Oh, 
actually got a... That went. Yeah, this is, uh, this is nasty. Leave it out. <laughs> They've all gone. Okay, a little bit of speed through here. I think it's going to get sludgy. <laughs> Morning. Oh, it's hard about this. Yeah, it's quite deep. I'm lucky. Look at the beans. Should really be stood up if I was any good, but I'm not, so I'm not. Very slippery here, yeah. very, very slippery these rocks. Oh, oh Barry. That's, well, that's how little traction there is. I'm going to go this way. Oh god. Oh, he busted. Oh, he busted. <laughs> then he ran away with it. This is tough. Just get over the front. Get a grip over that front wheel. Right, a little bit more road work after that one. Sad work that was. Right, here we go. Here goes nothing. It gets rougher up here, it always did. Stand up there really if I was any good. Chalk. I know you've got to stand up to get the suspension working properly and all that. I know all this stuff. Doesn't make it any easier though. Really less scary. Look at this chalk now. Chalk, 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 chalk. Whoa! <laughs> Barry! Naughty! There she is, the Gas Gas 350F. Nicely coated in muck. Nicely dirty, so you can see it still, but it looks like it's been used. So the big difference with this, with the KTM's, is it's got a linkage here, whereas the KTM's go directly to the swinging arm. Uh, the brakes, as I said, brake tech brakes, calipers, master cylinder. Um, so I guess they're slightly cheaper, that's why these are about £800 cheaper than the equivalent KTM's. Gas gas with a different headlight, the different headlight design to the KTM's. The plastics, I think, are quite similar to the KTM plastics as well. And there's that brake tech front caliper as well. I think the only other difference is on the 450 KTM. You get a little expansion chamber here and the exhaust system. You don't get that on the gas gas, but you get the full suspension, the full WP Explorer uh, suspension. I think it's 47 mil. 48 mil forks, 300 mil of travel, you know, fully adjustable. So you've got everything you need here for a little bit less money. <sighs> Time for a quick cuppa. What I love about this is the winter for me is bollocks. You can't do any riding. I don't want to take my own bikes out on the salt. It just ruins your bike. In all honesty, it ruins it. Even if you're ATF 50 and clean it off every ride, it still corrodes all the fasteners and stuff. So for me, the winter really is about riding off-road. It is such good fun to do this. Once you get over that initial fear, at the moment, you know, I'm equally scared as I am having fun, if that makes any sense. But the more experience you get, the more that fear reduces and your fun increases. And that's where I was at before. I was just out having fun. I wasn't nervous, but I'm, uh, I'm still nervous at the moment. Well, this little gas gas, I think this is perfect bike to... Uh, get my confidence back on really. Oh, it's moving around already. 
Don't grip the bars tight, leave the bars loose. And let the bike grip the bike with your legs. And let the bars do what they want to do. And if they do get too much, start to dig in. And give power to the rear to lift the front over what it's getting caught up in. So I know the theory. <laughs> I know the theory. It's putting it into practice. I'm still getting my head around. When I did that gas gas off road day, you can really tell that the uh, motocross bikes are so much more aggressive than these. These are so friendly. And I think actually, I think these are the friendliest of the, the KTMs. It's the friendliest Enduro I've ridden. Certainly being a, you know, a 350 as well. It's not like it's a 250, it's still a 350. It's a great bike, you know, sat between the 450, which is a beast. The 250 is still a beast and more than enough for, for most people, you know. But the 350, I think, sits in the middle of that. It's got the, uh, the niceties, the ease of use of the 250, but a bit more power like the 450. And as I say, the dyno things I've seen, independent dyno testing I've seen on this bike, is putting out 49 and a half horses to the rear wheel. 11,000 RPM, so that is quite incredible, actually. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, God. The suspension is just unbelievable, the way it takes these bumps up. 300 mil of travel. That's mad. It's mad the way it soaks it up there. Oh, that was good fun, I enjoyed that. Oof, enjoyed that, that was good. That's the pig shit one, isn't it? That's what? Is that a pig shit lane? Ah, yeah. uh, is it? Mr. Mr. Fish's favourite pig shit lane, they've just like they've redone it. Don't smell too bad today. Thank you. Give her a wave, keep them happy. Oh, I don't want to go through that. Oh, that's a lot, a lot of twigs. Oh, not more bloody ruts. Oh, I hate ruts. Let the bars move. Hold the bike and let the bars do their stuff. That's easy said and done. Twigs. If there's rats, I'm sitting down. Oh, it's slippery here. It's a bit ratty, it's a bit ratty, it's a bit ratty. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why am I so shit? So for the 2D, that's quite deep. Yeah, that's quite deep. <laughs> Easy peasy. It's very, very muddy and wet. Oh, slop. Slop tested. With the stabilisation on the GoPro, it will make them look like I'm going much slower than I actually am. <laughs> That's my uh, excuse anyway. The stabilisation does sort of smooth the picture out, but that does make you look like you're going slower than you are. When I mean, really I'm doing you know, about 50 miles an hour down here, but to you it looks sort of like 20 or so. Just bear that right. I stand up, stand up, one of the crew, I'm stood up. Oh yeah, green laning baby, green laning. <laughs> Just force yourself to stand up. Get used to that feel. Yeah. Woo oh, tree crossing, tree crossing. I should have stood up for that. Suspension that handled it like a champ though. Stand it up, chop, stand it up. Come on. Go over your fear. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Logs. Whoa. Down a cod. 
let's not get carried away. Jesus, the whole bike's moving on that. Oh, wet buddy. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's muddy. <laughs> oh, plenty of punch this. I tell you, it's a great way to spend your winter doing this. A few mates, you know, like this. And what a way to improve your riding as well. And get fit as well. It's bloody hard work this. And it will get you fit. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win situation. Care for a bit of this. <laughs> hey, get used to what a bike feels like to move underneath of you. You know, all of that. Uh, yeah. Sat down immediately on this one because it's a bit of a pig. So I know when I've sat down, you know, my weight is over, the, but the weight on the bike is high. Whereas when you stood up, your weight is on the pegs and it's very low. So I know it's better to stand up. But because I'm tall, you see, the fit, I can easily paddle because I'm tall is the problem. If I was, gosh, it's like a bloody gut down steps. If you're shorter and you can't touch the ground very well anyway, it, yeah, it doesn't make any difference. Because I'm tall, I can touch the ground very, very easily and save myself. So that's what you're fighting against. I know the bike handles better, you know, if you stood up. But <laughs> oh my God, look at this! This is uh, this is where I got stuck on the way up. So someone else is having trouble at all. Wet, slippery rocks. It's never going to be easy, was it? You sprung a leak, Barry. You sprung a leak! <laughs> oh, I wish I had something to follow now, because I know some of this is really deep. God, it's not... Yeah, it's right that way. This is when you're pleased you've only got a 100 kilo Enduro, not a GS. <laughs> I like that, kicking the bike down, you see, give it a bit of grip. <laughs> Okay, it's my turn. Hang on. Well, this way. Oh, really? Yeah, that's tough, isn't it? Oof. Yeah, that's tough. See how bad he gets on. Oh, he's got it now, has he? Do you want a tug? Possible. So slippery. No grip. Filthy. I've properly christened the bike. I've got a little bit of the mojo back. Uh, it's great to be on off-road again. It's great to be out off-road. I do absolutely love it. It's scary, but I'm starting to really enjoy it now. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap this bike now for the 300 two-stroke version. So we're going to be hitting the two-stroke 300 and see how that compares to this. But uh, this, what an easy, user-friendly bike. Really surprised me. But thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Done it. <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I 
I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh, backfire. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, <laughs>